All right, welcome back again to uh, Jacob's gardening part of his channel. Uh, my full channel name is Jacob's Fish Outdoor Adventure Gardening Music Channel, something like that. But uh, put out a few videos today. I've been at this garden all day. And. It literally seems like I got nothing done. It's taken me all day just to plant some stupid cucumbers, some onions, some squash, and weed whack this back area. I had to garden hoe over there. I was gonna garden hoe over there to plant the squash seeds, but I'm like, just forget it. Now I've been out in the sun all day. No getting red so uh this is uh i'll show you what i did get done so um when i first started out the day planting all these onions i had two uh bundles of onion onion like sp sproutings that i got from walmart i did not realize how many sprouts were in one bundle so that took me at least two hours and 30 minutes just to get these two bundles. And they take up half of this square garden. Then after that, I went over here and garden hoed one, two, three, four lines, lines and I planted the cucumbers here. We'll see how they do over here this year. I'm hoping they'll do okay. The last couple of, two two years and uh, they haven't done too well but in, in years before that they've done excellent so it all, it's all the it all depends on the dirt and where in the yard I plant them is de depends on how good they do I used to do them over there on the other side of the stair stair deck you, know, you see the cigarette thing I have a garden, another garden, but that's just covered in tall grass right now, which is where I started out doing the cucumbers, and they did absolutely amazing over there. They they like took over the whole half, pretty much the ba whole backyard. But uh, I have been booted to behind the garden here and behind the garage here, so uh, the ground ain't as good. So. So yeah, so I got the, that was, so the cucumbers I did second, then I decided to come over here. I don't have labels for these two squares, but I divided these, this half into squares. So this square, I planted the lettuce seeds, that square, I scattered the beet seeds, I didn't feel like digging anymore, so I just ra raped some lines into the dirt, scatter the seeds, and spread the dirt over the top, and it is what it is, it's enough, they don't grow, they don't grow, more room for the lettuce to grow out, I guess, but, um, then, I was gonna do the sunflowers today, but it's just getting too late in the day, and I'm hungry, probably sunburnt. And, uh, so I, uh, did the green and yellow squash. I didn't really spread them out that much. I just kind of did them in a little section here. And it, it is what it is. All that matters to me is at the end of the season, I have something to harvest. But uh, I'm hoping these types of onion sprouts are going to actually grow giant onions, unlike what I've been using in the past. Which I actually still have small onion bulbs from last year that I had planted, dug them up. They were the same size as what they, as what they were when I planted them. So they're actually sitting a bowl, in a bowl in the kitchen, I think. Unless they got thrown out, but I'm pretty sure they're still sitting in a bowl in the kitchen. So, uh, yeah, this is literally all I managed to get done today.
it feels like I got nothing done. Especially for being out here since this morning. Without a, a lunch break, I only took a, a quick smoke break. Yeah, so... Uh, as I mentioned uh, earlier in another video I sent out earlier, of uh, why I haven't been able to plant over there, and I mentioned that our water table is high. As for example, I'll tell you a quick story. It was, it's pretty funny. I know it wasn't funny, funny for the one who had to dig, who dug the hole for, but uh, we got okayed by the company to ha dig a hole and uh, put an in, uh, in-ground fire pit in. So uh, the PC who was you know, the manager of our house at the time, dug a hole, cut a metal barrel in hand, stupid bug and uh, stuck it in the ground next morning guess what we had a floating fire pit overnight the water table raised up so much it <laughs> popped that sucker right out of the ground uh, it was pretty hilarious but uh it's been a couple like two days since it rained you can tell the difference between you know, where the lawn got mowed and stuff. Well, I actually managed to figure out how to get the riding lawn mower through the front gate. That's the only reason this much grass got mowed because uh, I wouldn't have been able to do it with the push mower. So yeah, I came around the front gate, came around the corner, came through right about there where the grass cut gets you no know, shorter, came around, went that way. Automatically, once I, you know, reached that bird feeder, I started sinking and spinning. And it's going to be a long time until I can even get a mower or, or even walk back here. Like, this is as far as I can walk. Now, it's all wet. Like. This, this as far as I can, you know, step without getting into water. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. You can see the water glistening in the sun. Yeah, uh, this whole area is flooded. And uh, this grass is quite, quite tall. So uh, that is going to be a problem for the push mower. So uh, it's actually a good thing that I figured out that the riding lawnmower can come through the front gate. Because, uh, yeah, uh, our water table is high and it takes forever to your eye out. It's just part of the country life. Oh, and I wanted to sh this is uh, actually the corner where I plant all my tomatoes. Like I said, I know certain parts of the backyard where certain plants do better. And this corner is actually where the tomatoes do best. I had marked it with a stake. And um, over here is the rhubarb plant. It started by, by a little sprouting that was donated from a, the same PC manager for our house that, that was up here at the time that dug the hole for the um, fire pit. Yeah, he donated the, the uh, you know, sapling from his uh, rhubarb plant and now we got a big one. It's doing quite well. Uh, the reason I'm coming over here, you can see the wooden border. Like I was saying, I have a planting bed over here. Well, this is it. It's covered right now in weeds and the tall grass. So I wanted to show you, you know, how I was talking about the random lettuce growing. Um, I know I saw it sprouted. I saw one 
right, here it is. See that? Yep. Random lettuce. I didn't even I didn't even plant that. But uh, right now it's the only uh, random thing of lettuce I've seen, so that's why I planted the batch of lettuce over in the garden on that over there. But, but we are gonna I am gonna cut this down eventually, and uh, hopefully I will be allowed to uh, use it as a planting bed again this year. That's the plan. And even if they say no, I'm I'm gonna do it anyway. I always do it. I'm, I'm a rule breaker. I really don't like being told what to do. No. For Pete's sake, I'm a grown man. No, I don't need to be told what to do by other people, so. The dream is to one day get the heck out of this game group home. But in the meantime, I'm gonna enjoy it. Now I got my own garden space, you know. Got a giant yard to mow, which I definitely enjoy doing. Uh, uh, it's nice and peace and it's nice and quiet, you know, out here. Nothing but farms around us. Uh, yeah, the only thing we hear once in a while is uh, the highway. But other than that. Um, It's pretty quiet, so I'm gonna be calling it quits for the day. So uh, I'm gonna uh, lock this up and. Uh, I'll let you guys go, and then I'm gonna head inside. Get washed up. Try and find something to eat now that it's practically dinner time. All right, that's all locked up. All right, I'm gonna sit down here just for a little bit. All right, so. I think I got you covered on everything. So, uh, I hope you have enjoyed the, uh, this nice day. You know, I know a lot of people are at work right now, but uh, if you have a chance to get out today, definitely get outside and enjoy this weather. I could do without the sun. A little, you know, a little less sun though. But uh, other than that, it's been really nice out. I was just being able to, you know, hang out in my garden, you know, around the bird bath fountain, just, you know, sit here and listen to the sounds of nature. It's relaxing. Oh, I forgot to put that thing, this thing away. Oh, yeah, it's no biggie. I'll just stick it in the ground. There. All right. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, um, usually I'll be hang would be hanging out in that hammock, but like I said, it broke. I did get it used off a of marketplace for like ten bucks. So what? For the use I did get out of it last year and and a little bit into this year, it was great. But uh, and now I'm on the hunt for a, new a newer one. I'm thinking fabric, a fabric one. Probably used because I, of course, I can't afford brand new. No, on my stupid freaking budget, freaking hundred dollars a freaking month, which is twenty dollars a week. It's impossible to freaking live on. But when you're living in a group, how many you're living off practically off the government? That's all you get. But uh, at least I have this uh, space to call my own. So. And I get to bring you along with me. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed. I'm sorry if I talked your ear off. 
I tend to do that. Um, but, uh, I'm just I'm sitting here and thinking, and I'm looking at my little crib garden back here. You know, hasta daylilies. There was supposed to be hasta, another hasta plant, and then the daylily. So, hasta daylily, hasta daylily, hasta. So, we're missing a hasta. So, I gotta, I gotta get another hasta plant to put right there in that big gap. So, um... And I just happened to make it a curve like that. And then this fountain just... I bought it and it just happens to fit perfectly right in the curve. So, uh, yeah. Um... This is turning out to be part of a, l a lengthy video, mainly because I can't stop talking, so I am going to stop talking. I'm going to get out of here. But I hope you enjoyed tagging along with me today. I made multiple videos, so uh, enjoy. Remember, if you like them, please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.